What do James Brown, Johnny Cash, and Ray Charles have in common? Aside from the fact that they're musicians. Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry and today I want to talk about a special movie that I think is kind of underrated. Now like a lot of you, I was really really shocked and saddened when I found out that Chadwick Boseman passed away so young from colon cancer. Now we've been thinking about his performances and all the great work that he did as an actor. When we think about Jackie Robinson, you know, he played him in 42, and of course we think about his performances as Black Panther in all the different Marvel movies. But one of the ones that I think is kind of underlooked and underappreciated is Get On Up, back in 2014, when he played James Brown. And James Brown is one of my all-time favorite musicians, and he's on a short list of people that I am so, so glad that I was able to see live in concert. I saw him in 2005, it was only about a year and a half later that he passed away. So Get On Up was a movie I was really, really excited to see, I didn't really know who Chadwick Boseman was at the time. I think he had been in a couple things and I can't remember if I'd actually seen or, or reviewed them at the time, but I definitely knew who Chadwick Boseman was after I saw Get On Up. So again, this was a movie that came out in 2014. Tate Taylor was the director and it's a biopic about the Godfather of Soul. And similar to a lot of other biopics that have been, you know, kind of big over the years, you know, Ray was really big in I think 2004 uh, and then a, a year or two later, uh, Walk the Line was about Johnny Cash, and of course, in recent years, we've had Rocket Man about Elton John, you know, and, we, and Bohemian Rhapsody, of course, is about Freddie Mercury. Get On Up doesn't get the same attention, at least from my perspective, and I think that's too bad because I think it's a really fantastic movie and an even more fantastic performance. So the life of James Brown is told kind of out of sequence. It's very, very kinetic, which I think is intentional because if you've seen or you know if you've seen James Brown perform or if you've listened to his music kinetic, spectacular, dramatic, off the wall, all of those things describe it. It's, it's really, really something, and it's a lot of fun, and this movie tries to reflect that. Uh, there are some really, really you know, creative choices that are made, and of course, the chronology of the film, it doesn't just go through chronologically, step by step. Eventually, it kind of works into, into something like that, but it bounces around a lot, and we see him as a child, then it fast forwards to when he's an adult, we see him as a teenager when he got to, gets arrested and goes to prison. We see him at the beginning of his career as he's starting out and he's, and he's playing with the famous Flames. And Chadwick Boseman pretty much plays him from his, his late teen years until, you know, his, I think about his 60s. Um, when, and I think because I believe in his 70s is when, when James Brown actually died. So this movie is really, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, especially if you're a James Brown fan, if you're a fan of R&B music or soul music or funk music especially because it talks about how James Brown kind of emerged from like the early 1950s R&B and eventually just completely upended everything and, and invented funk in the late 1960s and through the 70s. Um, so it's really, really fun if you have an interest and a, a passion and appreciation for that kind of music. But re-watching it the other night, the thing that really jumped out to me, uh, as I kind of expected because this is what I was looking for, was just what an incredible performance by Chadwick Boseman. Um, James Brown was an incredible entertainer and of course a, a revolutionary musician, but like a lot of famous superstar musicians, not always a great person. And the movie doesn't shy away from, you know, just like with in, in Ray and just like in, in Walk the Line, um, it's not afraid to show you uh, his weaknesses. Uh, I won't get onto all the, the specifics, but what I thought was really, really impressive was that Bozeman was able to really kind of capture the, the conflict in this character, in this person, uh, because you can sense the brilliance and the greatness and the enthusiasm, and you can see him as a tyrant. Uh, James Brown was, was notorious for finding his band members if they ever made mistakes during live performances and he was a taskmaster, and he wasn't very interested in making friends. Um, but you also see those bits of his past that explain a little bit where that came from, and while it doesn't justify it, it gives you more context to kind of understand what's going on. And what I really appreciated was as you looked in Bozeman's eyes, and, and frequently straight into them, because he would break the fourth wall, that was one of the, the, the style choices, is he would actually address the camera. And you could see that conflict, and you could see that, and, and you could see that, you know, here's somebody who's who's a little bit crazy, you know, and James Brown definitely had a reputation for being a little bit crazy. Um, but you could also see the, the, the sadness and the conflict and, and somebody who, who went through a lot and dished out a lot. So like I said, I think that Get On Up doesn't quite get the same standing as some of the other biopics from the era. 
And maybe that's gonna change uh, due to these tragic recent events. Um, but one thing I can say though, is that even if the movie itself doesn't quite reach the status and the, the stratosphere of some of its peers, I absolutely have to give four stars to Chadwick Boseman's performance as James Brown in 2014's Get On Up. Now, Get On Up is rated PG-13, which is actually kind of surprising because James Brown lived a pretty R-rated life. And as a PG-13 goes, it is a little bit more on the rough side. Uh, there's, there's sexual content, there's violence, there's profanity. Um, it never, it's, it's more implied and it's, it's, it's more suggested than explicit hence the PG-13 rating. Um, so depending on kind of where you fall there, that, that might guide your expectations a little bit. Now on my way out, I wanna make a double recommendation here because I definitely wanna recommend that you see Get On Up, but I also want you to check out Live at the Olympia in Paris, 1971, a live album by James Brown. This is the performance that actually takes place in the film a little bit later on. This is when uh, there were some changeovers in the band and some real incredible stuff and the, the album is one of my all-time favorites. So remember when I got it, I just listened to it over and over and over and over again. It's one of those kind of albums. Uh, we see uh, footage from you know the, the Live at the Apollo, which I think is much more famous in terms of a live James Brown show. Uh, but if you like his music, if you like funk music at all, if you like great live music, period, Live at the Olympia in Paris, 1971, go find it. Enjoy that, enjoy Get On Up, and have a great one. So what's your favorite Chadwick Boseman performance? Leave your answer in the comments below. So thanks for watching. This has been Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry, and I'd love it if you would subscribe on your way out, and make sure to keep your notifications on so you can see our new videos as soon as they're posted. Take care, and have a great one.